what's up you guys welcome to another video uh today i want to do a quick little review of the razor hyper pulling dongle as you can see right there attached to my pc now at first i made a short that said that the dongle works great and blah, blah, blah and it does it really works great but here's some things you guys should know before purchasing the dongle now, number one, how to set up the dongle is basically having the dongle, dongle plugged in, right? You plug it into your PC or whatever wire that it came, in, came with, and you can stick this end that your wireless mouse came with, stick this end into your PC, then you wanna open up Razer Synapse, and here, you should be able to click this, right? Because it won't work because it's not connected to this yet. So you have to have the original plugged into another USB port on your computer. Click this and then just pair. And then once it's pairing, you can plug this out of your PC and then it'll do its thing and then boom, you're in. So that's the first thing you should know. Now, the second thing you guys should know is when you change the polling rate from 2000 to 4000 4, Hertz on the Razer Synapse program with the mouse, using the dongle, you're gonna notice around 2000, 4000 Hertz that you're gonna wanna increase your DPI. So um, you go over here, you go to performance and you're gonna to wanna to increase this from your usual. Before, when I had it at 1000 Hertz polling rate, my mouse is swinging around like it is right now. As you can see, I have it at 1000 Hertz. It's moving it normally around a circle. But when you increase it, it kind of slows down the sensitivity. I don't know if you can, you guys can see that, but it kind of slows down the sensitivity. So what you're usually at, increase it by like 200, 300, 400 and it'll feel kind of back to normal where you're usually used to your sensitivity. Um, so that, and also that it will, you know, it has this, this disclaimer here, high polling rates require more processing power, which may result in reduced frame rates when playing CPU bound games. But I'm sure anybody that's using like a 4,000, 2,000 Hertz mouse, you should have at least like a 144 hertz 165 hertz you know or more monitor and you know a good rig to be able to run those um high fps games and stuff like that so uh, keep that in mind when buying the dongle now moving on to the last thing now the last thing about this dongle a lot of you are probably wondering why is it attached on the side of my pc well, besides it looking pretty cool and that it has a light indicator showing the battery percentage and you can change that in the settings of what you want the light to do, this does not really work with the original long USB-A to USB-C cable that came with your mouse. Now, I don't know about how long the Razer Viper, the new Viper or whatever, um, or the other mouse that work with this dongle, how long they are, but I'm pretty sure they're as long as the Death Adder V3 Pro comes with. But that long cable would always disconnect the dongle. So I looked it up and I was like, why is this dongle always connecting? Won't go all the way in. And quick thing, I found on Reddit that people replaced the original wire with a different USB-A to USB-C cable and it worked flawlessly like i would stop randomly disconnecting and it would stop randomly just cutting off and every time um my pc would go to sleep and wake up i would have to reconnect it and sometimes it'll work and there was like a 50 50 chance it would work but now i just had an extra usb a to usb c lying around and I chose the smaller one. I had I had other ones like for my keyboard that were a bit smaller and that worked as well. 
but I had this one that charged, I believe, my wireless earbuds from Sony. So I'm like, well, I have other chargers for that. So I just used that for the dongle and it works perfectly fine now. Like I, my, my computer went to sleep. I turned it back on, moved my mouse around and it was connected instantly. That's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I thought I should let you know before purchasing this $30 dongle or whatever. And um, <laughs> um, keep this. You're going to need this definitely. So don't just throw this away, you know. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon. Sorry for the, for the wait. But I've been testing two new keyboards out. Here's a sneak peek. Boom, boom. So coming very soon. And I'm really taking my time with these because uh, I'm I've started to learn kind of uh, about keyboards and stuff like that. So stay tuned for those reviews and for a kind of a setup tour that I've changed and stuff like that. Stay tuned. So thank you guys for watching and peace.